Hello everybody and welcome to my SketchUp videos. Today I want to show you something a friend had brought up. Uh, he wanted to know how to calculate square footage quickly. So, what I would want to show you is through a house that I've done a while back ago, but I will show, I will demonstrate on this house how to do square footage calculation here in SketchUp. So, say that you design this house, and you want to calculate that square footage, and you haven't done your calculations all along. Here's a quick way to do so. Alright, so you got your model right. Now, make sure that the coloring is um, something you can see. For right now, you can see, you can't see that coloring. So, right now I'm just going to change that color. Okay, so now you see that the color is something you can you can see. So w then when then after that you would think about well what how is a square footage calculated? Well, you know that any heated square footage, you know, living heated living space, that's always counted as square footage. Garages are not included in square foot square footage counts nor are porches or patios like outdoor rooms etc sun usually not sunrooms but um, sometimes maybe I don't know but so now that you know that you have to exclude the garage and the porch and also this little, this little screened area here you can't use either so for now we will for now we will you know just close that off and we can just erase nope that didn't work alright so pretty much we got that And then draw off the garage. Now, something that came out as pretty peculiar that I learned, um, I think seven years ago in a CAD class, that calculating square footage, you actually calculate from the exterior wall into the inward. Because at first, people would think that you know you'd go from room to room or inside the interior exterior walls, you know, to calculate your square footage. I learned that it was actually the perimeter of the house. So it's from the outside. So we will do that right now. So right now we have, you know, we closed off this, this, and this. Now what we want to do is we just want to draw a shape. And we go from corner to corner. Some people will do rectangles, but it just depends on how many, how many corners your building has. There's a few corners, you know, rectangles fine. But I mean if there's a lot of corners, then you probably want to use, you know, the line tool in which I'm doing right now. And you keep doing that until you get a shape. And you can move your dwelling. Alright, so it looks like I didn't make a closed figure. Just, you know, close it off. And there's your closed traverse. And what you will see is you have this. It's so easy. You right click on it. Then you go all the way down to where it says area. Just say selection. And there you have it. That's your square footage for the building. This one here is not, not quite 2,000 square feet. But as you can see, it's area that doesn't include any of the porches or the garage. Alright, I hope you found that video, video tidbit helpful. If you did, please rate, comment, subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Alright, um, thank you very much. Have a great day.
All right, bye-bye, everyone, and see you later.